already I feel like I feel like we're talking slower. <laughs> yeah. So calm and relaxed. Yeah. That is pretty much the sort of the tone of pie apparently. So this morning, well today actually, we are heading to uh, Pai, Pai in north of Thailand. So like three, three or four hours up north. From yeah, Thailand? three to four hours. So we booked our, um, we booked a little minivan or like a little bus. We're not really too sure yet <laughs> on a website called One to Go. We've got a little bit of a link that you can get a discount on, and then we, I think we might get a little bit of kickback if you book through them. So definitely do. Really easy to plan, and then we've just showed up at this bus station. Arcade, Arcade. bus. Arcade. Yeah, arcade bus station. And uh, it's a little bit chaotic. There's some, <laughs> there's some cowboys here. There's cars everywhere. There's all sorts of food and stuff, which is good. Speaking of chaotic, I hear that the drive there is also um, it has like 700 kind of like twists and turns. So we did go to 7-Eleven and we got some um, some motion sickness pills. Not that we ever get car sick, but no. we've heard some stories. We've it's, heard some things. It's not worth the risk. And if from the driving that we've seen around here, I think it's going to be pretty <laughs> aggressive and fun. So that was actually super easy because we booked online. I had a little PDF on my phone. We just went in and showed our little tickets. Uh, yeah, we leave in 10 minutes, which is nice and easy, 9.30 departure. And it was, um, we paid 200 baht per person. And I think booking online was the best way rather than trying to stand around. You and seats and stuff. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. So we got to choose our seats. And what was the... <laughs> we chose the back because we're like back seat bandits, you know, but I also read online afterwards that that's probably the worst place you can sit. <laughs> Apparently we're going to get more motion sickness because we're like going to be fishtailed at the back. Wish us luck. I think we're mostly driving through towns. <laughs> you might be able to pick up from the wobble now that we're now starting to experience. Maybe we've had about 10 or 12 of our first 700 or so t turns. Pretty aggressive, pretty wobbly. I think it's probably not as bad as we thought, but maybe we'll check back in in like 300 more and see how we're feeling at that point. Halfway or almost halfway into the trip now. Yeah, there's been so. so many there's been so many twists and turns already. <laughs> it's quite fun. It's quite fun to begin with. It's like a roller coaster, but yeah. less fun. Um, so yeah, toilet break and then hit the road for another like maybe three three hours. Yeah, no, hopefully two, only two more to go. Two hours. He's driving pretty quick and aggressive, so we might be right. <laughs> yeah. What's the story? Can I have some toilet money? You have to pay to use the toilet. <laughs> it's three bucks. Okay. <laughs> So we've made it to Pai. That was actually a really painless four hour trip. Maybe three, three and a half actually because they break it up for that like hour and a bit or two hours in the middle. It definitely makes like a much smoother trip when you've got that little bit of a break. And they stopped a few other times to let people on and off as well. First impressions driving in, it's such a cool little, little place. It reminds us a lot on initial impressions of El Nido in the Philippines. Really small little streets, little walking places, lots of little stalls on the side of the road tourists out on like scooters and everything lots of mountains and things to explore so we're just on our way now just on our way now walking on the road to go and check into our hotel it's definitely walkable <laughs> the place that we're staying at it's called b2 B2 Premier Hotel apparently, but um, what does it say? 700 meters? Yeah, it feels a little bit longer than 700 <laughs> meters. Like it's a bit out of town. I like you can hear there's there's nothing out here. Just our chandles flapping around. Yeah, we walked through uh, like a little like a little local market maybe. Yeah, it looked cool. It's just 
already I feel like I feel like we're talking so, slower. Yeah, so yeah. calm and relaxed. <laughs> that is pretty much the sort of the tone of Pai apparently. Very laid back. Apparently it's a bit of like a hippie yogury sort of place. Oh shit. Oh, who's your mate? Mate's run up. Alan, what's up? Well that's actually a really scary looking dog. Yeah, it is that's not really a cute one to show. <laughs> 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 anyway, they'll show you what it looks like here. We're just walking up now onto the hotel and it looks really, really nice. Wow, oh, it's nice. Look how clean and everything it is. It's like real simple. Door shut. Door shut. Oh wow, this is all nice as well. Yeah, nice looking shower and bathroom and everything. This is all fancy. And then... Oh wow, look how big the balcony is, babe. Look at this. Wow. Shit, I can't talk too loud, it's so quiet out here. Oh yeah, I can jump into that. This is a really nice hotel. We'll show you around a little bit more once we uh, freshen up and go out to get some food, I think. much else around but it's just so relaxed you can already feel like we're we're really enjoying like the slowness here there's a lot more travelers as well whereas Chiang Mai has a lot more people like staying long term so that's cool we've just come out for a walk so we're absolutely starving it's two o'clock now uh, and we've probably stopped at the most like touristy restaurant we could possibly <laughs> find it was big there's loads of people there I hope the service will be fast because we're starving but Stacey's has got some Stacey's been like our travel guide. She's planned out a whole heap of stuff for us to get up to over the next. Have we got three three days here? Yeah, three days. Two or two and a half or whatever's left. <laughs> Quite a lot. Um, so we're going to be super busy the next couple, like on scooters exploring and everything. So we thought today we'll just get situated, take our time, get used to the vibe here. Uh, and the street here is a walking street that I think is going to turn into like a night market or something later on. So yeah, we're just going to hang out, have some food, maybe grab a coffee, see what the night market's all about, and just sort of yeah. <laughs> Share, share, share with you a feel of what of what this place is like and how like relaxed it is and we feel. We just finished up at lunch. Actually, I was impressed. That was really nice. The noodles were my favorite. That's a pad to you, that's like a local Thai dish and most people know of like pad Thai as being like the thing to eat in Thailand or khao soy which we've shown on the channel here before and that yeah the northern parts of Thailand but pad to you has quickly become our favourite because of the so thick noodles eh? So good. Um, so pretty cheap as well which I didn't really, well it's both more, more expensive than back in Chiang Mai but. Yeah, but that's what you get with like a touristy place right? Yeah, big portions though so we were stoked with that but we love coffee as you will know so we've come to a little place called Puru Pai Cafe. Yeah. It was close walk from the um, from the restaurant we came to uh, uh, came from. I think everything must be walking distance around here though, eh? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> um, there are a few others that I've researched that I wanted to go to that were like maybe a K. Oh kilometer. right. Okay, we ain't walking a kilometre, so it was about 32 <laughs> degrees today. Um, coffees are really good, and we've just had some, uh, was it a... Oh, a peanut butter cookie. So good. Surprise! It's like four hours later. <laughs> <laughs> We're just on our way out to the walking street to grab some food. Yeah. Um, but we had to take a quick nap because... Oh, there it is. Because <laughs> it turns out the motion sickness pills that we took make you super, super drowsy. Super <laughs> drowsy. Um, yeah, so make sure you're a little bit careful about which pills you choose when uh, picking your motion sickness pills. We had to go and have a coffee, and then after a coffee, we were still exhausted <laughs> and sleepy, and it's so not like us. <laughs> 
So two other really quick tips from getting from Chiang Mai to Pai, that is to choose your seats wisely. We're yeah. in the back and it was too crammed with luggage. I reckon the best seats to, are to sit right behind the driver and the passenger. For sure, that's yeah. why if you use that link that we've got, you can actually book it and choose rather than just get whatever crap they give you. Yeah, totally. And you can recline too, which would be good. And then the second one is uh, bring some tissues and some loose change because the toilets cost you money everywhere you go and there's no toilet paper. Lovely. All right, let's get out of here and get some food. So all the streets that we were walking and more earlier, um, it's all closed off now. It's just walking only, just much like Hoi An. Everything's sort of closed. In fact, the same in El Nido, like we sort of suspected. So this is definitely the place to come at night time. It's really full, there's people everywhere, but it's still like really slow and cash. Um, but it's definitely the spot to come for food, drink, shops, uh, of like local made stuff and everything. Hold a cup. Hold a cup. And my friend there as well. around for maybe about 20 minutes in and out of the streets but we're so hungry we decided we'd stop and just get some pad thai um, the reason we picked somewhere that we can actually sit down is because because of a beer <laughs> feels a bit weird walking around with chopsticks trying to eat your food while you've got like a beer there as well not 100 percent sure how much it's going to cost but this is either 40 or 50 baht so pretty cheap and that's like a that's a it's a big serving as well so we've got a banana and chocolate cake and, and a chocolate as well. Donut. It's about nine o'clock now. It's definitely colder in Pai by a long way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so jumpers on, like literally. I think people use the aircon here to try and warm up the room. Somebody's <laughs> left it on thirty, so obviously it's going to be a cold night. Um, what have we got coming up in the next few days? So much exploring, right? A lot. Yep. Canyons and like bridges and maybe some temples and driving and scooters. So there's some really cool stuff coming up. So make sure you subscribe if you're new here to catch more. Um, yeah, as always, thank you so much, and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye! Bye!